Hi, my name is Megan McNish, and I'm a preservation planner with the City of Columbia's Planning and Development Services. Today, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Cottontown Bellevue Architectural Conservation District, um, including some of the history and common architectural styles that you'll find in the district. So to start off with, we're going to talk a little bit about the area that was historically known as the Bellevue neighborhood. And the first date of importance in the development of this neighborhood is 1896, when the streetcar line, um, which started in downtown Columbia, was extended northward towards Hyatt Park. Um, Hyatt Park is the area that we today know as the Eau Claire area of Columbia. Um, and the extension of the streetcar allowed for um, downtown suburbs to expand in this time period as well. So think neighborhoods like Elmwood Park and Cotton Town as well. So in 1902, the first lots were surveyed and subdivided um, and sold off to private property owners. We start to see the first um, new construction in this area around this time. And this is largely gonna be on lots closest to Elmwood Avenue. By 1912, the larger Bellevue neighborhood had been surveyed and lots started to be sold off to individual property owners. And by the 1920s, construction in the district had begun in earnest. It continued on through the 1920s and 30s. And by the early 1940s, the neighborhood had become more densely settled, although new construction continued through the 1950s and 60s, more sporadically in those cases. By the 1990s, local leaders in historic preservation began to see the value of uh, the history of Cotton Town and its beautiful architecture. So in 1997, the district was listed in the National Register of Historic Places. And in 2009, it was locally designated as an architectural conservation district. There are a couple of really interesting things about the history of Cotton Town, including something that I've already mentioned, which is that Cotton Town was a name applied to this neighborhood long after its founding. Something that you'll see as we start to talk about the architectural styles in the district is that brick is the most common, although not the only exterior siding or cladding material in the district. And then lastly, the area was once home to the Columbia Confederate Soldiers Home, which was located near the corner of Confederate Avenue and Bull Street, although the building no longer stands. So the first architectural style that we'll talk about is the one that um, many people will likely think of um, when it comes to Cotton Town, and that's the craftsman style bungalow or craftsman style buildings. Um, they are the predominant house type in the district, and the majority of these buildings um, have brick as their exterior cladding material. There's lots of variety uh, in, in the craftsman style bungalows in this district. Um, they've got really ornate um, windows uh, in a variety of, of pane configurations, including three over one, four over one, asymmetrical eight over one. Um, there's a, a very large variety in the area. Um, they also feature unique details such as um, faux half timbering in the gables, um, stuccoed gables, beautiful knee braces. There are a variety of details on these buildings that make them incredibly unique. While the majority of the craftsman style buildings in the district are one-story bungalows, there are several examples of two-story craftsman style buildings in the district as well. Another architectural style found within the Cotton Town District is the colonial revival style. This was a popular style in the early to mid 20th centuries, and there are examples that are both brick and lapsided. The predominant uh, type uh, in the district is um, brick, brick cladding, but uh, there are a couple of examples of lapsided colonial revival style, uh, style buildings. These buildings tend to be highly symmetrical, um, so very even on either side, and they feature details like fan lights over the doors and six over six, six over one, and one over one style windows. The next architectural style um, that we should talk about is the minimal traditional style. These commonly date from the late 1930s through the early 1950s. They're generally very simple buildings. Um, that's why they're called minimal traditional. They can, however, have style details in addition to their simplicity. So um, they can have Tudor details or craftsman details um, added to the buildings. Many of the minimal traditional style buildings that we find in Cotton Town are also duplex structures. 
Um, these are historic to the district and an important part of the development of the area. The last architectural style that we'll touch on is the Tudor Revival. While these aren't as common in Cottontown, there are several examples that are, are really unique. Many minimal traditional style structures in the district also have a Tudor influence, although there are several examples of higher style Tudors in the district that have steeply pitched gables, um, faux half timbering in the gables, arched or rounded top doors, and um, stone accents on them uh, that make them really unique. So that was a brief overview of the Cottontown Bellevue Architectural Conservation District, its history and some of the, the architectural styles that you find in the district. If you have any questions about this district or other districts within the city of Columbia, or if you have a, a topic that you'd like us to cover in a future video, please feel free to email us at preservation at columbiasc.gov. We'd love to hear from you and answer your questions. Thanks so much.